And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Assessor Control. This deck looks pretty sweet. So this was a, a user submitted deck that is based around, it's a control deck based around Trifarian Assessor. Uh, so it's a four mana, four, three, that whenever you play it, you draw a card for every five plus power ally that you have. All right, so we want five, five power allies. So we got Reckless Trifarian, Crimson Awakener, uh, which we're not playing a lot of like uh, lower cost cheap things. So it's Crimson Awakener is kind of just a four mana five five that doesn't have too much downside, but you know it does does deal one damage to our other allies. But if we don't have the other allies, it's not that big of a deal. Um, you know we got Darius in here also, and so uh, also, and then we have the Hearth Guard and Avaros and Hearth Guard. Given all of our allies plus one plus one in our deck means that if we can play a hearth guard and then we draw an assessor, the assessor would now be a five power creature as well. So assessor would see itself and trigger off of itself. Um, and then of course we have the omen hawks also. Uh, you know, omen hawk can make your assessor five power and uh, have those trigger there too. Um, so, you know, we got some, some good mid-range creatures, but we got to be able to survive the aggro deck. So we got avalanches in here. We got brittle steels, elixir of iron, some cheap tricks. Uh, we have culling strike, flash freeze. The thing about culling strike is, you know, kill a unit with three or less power. Well, if they have a really big unit, obviously you can't kill it. But if you flash freeze that large unit, you do two for one yourself, but you can get rid of anything for six mana with a flash freeze and a culling strike um or, or you know like harsh winds you know same kind of thing there the other reason why we have all these five plus power allies though is for reckoning so reckoning uh if you have a five plus power ally kill all the units with four or less power so you know that's our other way to kind of control the board another sweeper for all the small stuff and keep our big creatures alive and then of course we have anivia's at the top end because anivia is just awesome so uh, yeah, this will be an interesting one to play. I haven't, haven't tried it out yet myself. Um, calling it Assessor Control. Let's give it a try. You know, I'm still in the... Still in the, um, you know, let's try everything phase and see, you know, see what, see what we like, see what cards impress us, see, like, how the interactions really work and everything like that. Anyway, welcome back, Boo. Yeah, we're doing good today. We had a real good expedition. We got the seven win expedition. Let's see. And we're trying a new brew here in ranked. I'm going to... Do I want to keep Trifarian? So Darius Elise. I think I'm going to just mulligan everything. I think we want to look for Avalanche. There's no avalanches there. Lady Elise, where are you? This may not be worth it. Hey, True Pixels. Yeah, half of the time being, um, Legends of Ruterra came out um, about five weeks ago, and this game is awesome. I'm a big believer in it. Come on, spend. Spend two more mana, play another spider. Who's ready to Got him. It's a free attack. I guess I could have attacked, but... Oh, well. Ooh, big Darius. Sure, waste my time. Four mana, five five, big blocker. This deck's performed pretty well so far. Oh, great. 
I couldn't play the Reckoning. Need another mana for that, but at this point, because of this Arachnid host, the Reckoning would have only killed just the 3 1. What's up? I'll just do some trades. I'm gonna just play the Darius. I'll handle this myself. I have my orders. Fair enough. This won't be a fair fight. <laughs> Thanks, Jay Jack. I pull the string. Decimate. Direct assault. Four damage. Flip to Darius. I hope they play something pre-combat. Because this Reckoning would be real good. Just good old Plague Wind. I'll handle this myself. Dude, our deck's pretty sweet. Only the strong. Everything's gone really well for us this game. But strength above all. Nah, I don't know. I, could, I mean, I can block and then elixir of iron. They have one card. Yeah, it's Jinx board, it's... Yeah, they, it just came in into the... It just came in the store... <clears throat> um, the You know, two days ago with the new update. Yeah, I could have Mark of the Isles for sure. Or, you know, the Black Spear. They, they could add a lot of things to kill my Darius. But I was honestly fine with the Darius dying. Because we still had it, you know, like we were gonna have a Nivea. That was a perfect game. Against spiders, we didn't take any damage. Stayed at 20. That was just a perfect game. Yeah, the boards are expensive. They're like 10 bucks. They are expensive. I guess they gotta make the money somehow. I was wondering if it was just worth it just to attack with a 1-1 one, one anyway, like, because if they block the 1-1, one, one, that I would be fine with that. Awesome up and at him. Only the finest serve. I think you're gonna like it. We fight for one Freljord. So I'm not too proud to like save Assessor to like where Assessor can only draw cards. Where there is life, there is hope. 
I'll do it myself. I think it's just worth worth it the you know the tempo everything. I think it's worth playing that four three instead of doing nothing. You know, like my other choice was the harsh winds. Tread lightly, strike hard. Fast as wind, light as air. Barrier life steal. All right, we'll just do this. So we get to make them waste a card. You name it, I'll nick it. Really wish I had enough mana for uh, Darius plus Avalanche. I'd love to play Avalanche first. Oh, abso absolutely, up and Adam. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a riot game. Yeah, absolutely. What you looking for? I'll show you how it's done. Definitely think this game will have a esports competitive aspect. It's too late for you. All right, they're down to two. I need no weapon. All my spells in hand are all slow spells. I can't play, can't cast them during combat. I know the decimate's lethal. Like th this is the color with deny. I I I'm expecting them to have denies in hand. To be honest, especially with the karma, I I would be surprised if they don't have a deny. And they gained three lives, so that didn't even kill them anyway. Try it again. Okay. I got deny number two. Avarosans, stand together. You cannot escape as fate wills. It's too late for you. It's a lot of trample damage. Master. 
And we set it up perfectly. Boom. Two now. Decimated. I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied how I played that game. I feel like I played that game very well. Got the denies out of their hands. I think we'll play that one pretty well. Ezreal Elnux. Mm. I wish I didn't mulligan. I wish these were like the first two creatures that I would have omen hawked. That's that's really the combo is you want to omen hawk assessor, turn it into five power so it draws a card whenever you play it. That's what we really want. A chill in the air. It's not bad. For the head. Can keep this one one around to be able to trade with a three one. I could see that being a waste. Only the finest serve. Stay back. All right, it was a waste. Weak avalanche, but it's not avalanche isn't the best against their deck anyway. Yeah, it's true. Like if we if we could get reckoning to work, it would kill all the Elnux. get it to work. Forever We're not doing a good job of drawing big creatures. Which is all we want to draw in this matchup. Like, I don't even think, like, we haven't even drawn enough cards for our Omen Honks. Ouch, that's good. There we go. I have 10 cards over there.
10 cards. All right, sorry, I had, to make, I had to make my fancy baseball pick. I just did. <laughs> Check me out. I you'd never so they just passed. And so since they just passed, um, I wanted to... They had the 10 cards, and they just passed, and so I wanted to make them waste all their mana. Firing. No way. I will endure. Yeah, I could see Trif Trifarian Glory Seeker doing some work in this deck. Basically, as a removal spell, like maybe instead of some of these other removal spells. I have my orders. A true Felurian welcome. Today we fight as one! For them, right now, it's all about... Protect the villages. It's all about Ezreal. They're just looking for more copies of Ezreal now. Only the finest serve. Who have you brought me? And I'm trying to just win with these beefy creatures before they do. It's difficult to do against their deck with all the frostbite stuff, though. Alright, they found another Ezreal. So... I guess that means I'm dead. Ezreal's just lethal. That card's pretty good. But... We had a very poor hand for the matchup. With the cards that we had. Very poor hand for the matchup. I don't think that's a favorable matchup anyway. All right, we need one more win to get the next, uh, the next thing, which I, I think is just an epic card. Our next reward. It's a high upside hand, but it's, you know, waiting till turn six to do anything. 
really want to find Avalanche. Yeah. There's That's the card. Elise is pretty great against Avalanche, though, unfortunately. There we go. That card's good against Elise. many flash freezes. Definitely see playing, playing, you know, like some glory seekers instead of all these flash freezes and stuff. I, I've not been very impressed with these flash freezes. Hey, space. This could be so good. This works. This could be so good. Well, not as good now. Still do 10 attack. Stand and defend. Down to four. Well, their battlefield's gone. Today we fight as one. Another Reckoning. Awesome, up and at him. Happy to hear it. Oh, Mark of the Isles. All right, so we'll flash freeze this thing. Frostbite another. So they're just down to the three cards in hand. Oh, that's true. Oh, I could have just flash freezed it. Would that have worked? Could I have just killed it with flash freeze in response still? Yeah, because they played the fast spell. Yeah, I could have. Stop having every rekindler. Reckoning's actually working much better than I thought. I've been actually really impressed with Reckoning. I know what lurks in the shadows. What 
What's up? I think it's a five seven now. Yeah, so I, I messed that up with the not flash freeze in earlier. And Nivea is probably my best draw. Avalanche would be good too. Avalanche and Nivea. But Nivea is the best draw. Man, just incredible hand for our opponent. Kill two Hecarims, the third one comes to just Three straight turns playing Hecarim. Well, those Frostbite cards are just not really good enough. Like, they're just pretty dead. Need to be better cards. Let's just change those. Um... I don't have any glory seekers. Yeah, like the three flash freeze, three brittle steel. I don't I don't like those. Play like one brittle steel, two flash freeze, and three of these. We basically use this as a removal spell. Where it actually trades with the cards. The the other things just aren't trading with cards. Now they had all the all the questions. They just got to they just played um You know, just got to play Hecarim, Hecarim, Hecarim three turns in a row. I could deal with two, but I couldn't deal with the third. Timo Zed. So very aggressive. Nice. Avalanche is good. See, it doesn't matter that... It doesn't matter that, like, the Awakener and the Avalanche kill the Glory Seeker, because all you do with the Glory Seeker is you just play it... You only just play it whenever you're about to... You When you, when you can attack, you just play it and uh, go attack something. That's it. Yeah, Hecarim is hecka scary. I would agree with that assessment. Oh, great. Extra hand never hurt. Hey, they're doing my Wayfinder Teemo stuff.
They're probably just going much more like just regular elusives and just have Teemo in their elusive deck instead of trying to focus on getting, you know, a bunch of PNZ spells and, and puff cap, you know, try to get a whole bunch of puff caps. Looks like it's probably just Teemo and Mystic Shot and like they probably just play the two burn spells in Teemo, which that that is pretty sweet. Teemo replaces Omen Hawk. And then you get Mystic Shot and get excited to finish people off. Yeah, and then the rest is the Kinku Elusives. So that's pretty cool. We'll, to, we'll try that here pretty soon. I can build this deck that my opponent's playing. Only the finest serve. Who have you brought me? Hmm. I will play my part. So just gonna be going straight to attacks. So if I, um, if I do harsh winds, it's all I'm doing this turn or like, you know, then I can like Omen Hawks or just save up mana with the culling strike. I'm also a little surprised they have Static Shock. For a leap of faith. I have 9 mana next turn. I'm a little surprised they have Static Shock. Oh dang, that thing's a 6-5.
If I didn't play the second Omen Hawk, I would have 10 mana and I could have played the four drop, see if I would draw Harsh Winds and Harsh Winds these two. It's off the table now. So yes, yeah, so they're not so their deck isn't focused on the puff caps, but just has Teemo instead of Omen Hawk, just for the, the one drop for Wayfinder. And then gets the burn spells. It's the burn spells that are important. Kato. Well, I I like how our deck has played for the most part. Like we played against three very you know very good tier one decks and they've had awesome hands and we've we've played pretty close matches um with them coming ahead but the last three but i think our deck is holding its own i think our deck's holding its own hold, holding its own and doing well All right, let's see what we got. Okay, against the Ezreal deck, get rid of Avalanche, get rid of, I guess just Avalanche. I guess we probably need to keep Culling Strike. Ugh, Avalanche. Let's say we probably need to keep Culling Strike to be able to kill. Um, Victory requires a sharp blade. Ezreal. I, I probably wouldn't be playing this if I didn't have the Elixir of Iron. But me having Elixir of Iron. Huh. I'll cut them apart. Look out for Reavers. Light the signal fire. What do y'all think of this deck? Chat's been kind of quiet recently. What what do y'all think of the deck? Not and ready. Uh, okay, you're you're not a control fan. Leaping into action. Well, this is you know, like we're like we're a control deck just because we need like sweepers. But as far as like a control deck, you know, like we are playing a whole bunch of big creatures. There's worse ways to play control than play a bunch of big creatures. And so we just got a, a four mana, four three, draw two on curve. A true Felyorian welcome. Still learning the game slowly, Paul? How are you liking it? Remember me. These archers are so great. Even if we were playing archers, that wouldn't be so bad. Let's well, get Avalanche. Let's see what you've got. Yes, yeah, so that's our. Yeah, we have two two different sweepers. We have Avalanche that does that just does two damage. It's just Pyroclasm. <clears throat> and then we have one where it's a six mana card, and it says if you control a creature. Power five or greater than, then destroy all creatures. Power four or less. We march.
Alright, so they kill our champion, but it was a two for one. We got rid of <clears throat> two cards, including a, a good removal spell. And we have a backup, Darius. Order from here. In Avarosa's name. Step away, coward. They're making they're making this attack because they have Mystic Shot. To kill Darius. And I'm going to let him. I really wish I could play Anivia and Glory Seeker, but I can't. I really wish I could. Legion waits. Something oh, wait. Yeah, that one's a 2 4, right? Whenever a Nivea attacks, does one damage to all their stuff. So, one damage to them. So they got... These Mushroom Clouds don't exactly count as cards. They have six cards. We got six cards. We're, we're keeping up with them. The a big place. Let's see all of it. Ezreal's still pretty broken. So that was the Ezreal's Mystic Shot, so they just shuffled an Ezreal into their deck. No that means they have at maximum one more in their... Hear that. Sorry, so at maximum they have one more in their hand. Anivia! So now it attacks, does two damage to all their stuff. I bring the storm. There won't be a warning shot. Ah. Treasure cruise. Yeah, we can basically slowly grind them down with uh, Anivia, but it's just too slow. Oh, Glory Seeker can't block. I will endure. That was my whole plan. Block with Glory Seeker. Well, we looked good about three or four turns ago. Even after the Ezreal, but... Not anymore. Too many treasure cruises over there, too many crappy dead cards over here.
Oh, you can't you can't play a Nivea even if you have an egg Nivea in play. Yeah, <laughs> egg Nivea. It's so good. And Nivea turns into egg Nivea. I'm glad we had the Glory Seekers over more Frostbite stuff, though, because, like, more Frostbite stuff would not have helped. But Glory Seeker not being able to block does hurt. One short of casting reckoning. Oh, that's a harvest right Our deck is close is not quite there yet. De definitely seems like we're we're really built to to beat like the aggro decks. Like whenever we played against that spider aggro that first round, that's really what our our decks look strongest against. But like these bigger creatures, um, and then you know like e like these Ezreal matchup looks pretty bad. Um, kind of drawing like the wrong half of the deck too. You know like we're drawing the cards that we don't want at all. Like we want to just draw the creatures. We're drawing the spells, and you know it's about half and half. Hmm. All right. Uh, fearsome midrange. I'm gonna keep this. All right. So the turn. It, the plan is don't play anything turn one. I guess I could play the Omen Hawk. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna play Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk's gonna die. But then we. Now we don't play anything in turn two. We definitely need to bank this two mana. Oh, I guess I could have attacked. Whatever. I don't bite. Now we have the two saved mana. So we play Trifarian. And now this next turn, now we have six mana for spell mana. And we get to play a Reckoning. Blow that stuff up. <clears throat> OPP surrender. All right, have a good night, Rex. So that's what we want to be playing against small creature decks. Yeah, good old turn four wrath concede. This is probably not a good matchup. I 
This is the kind of matchup where all, actually all the Frostbite is really good. Yeah, I got, got the sweet cat picture up. These woods protect their own. Who goes there? Both the two dogs are just asleep. They're snoring. If I block there, I save one point of damage, which is not very useful. I think it's just one point of damage. But it would take out a card that would can stop me. get killed by Fiora. I long for a so this specific matchup, it would have been better to have... Hmm, do I just harsh winds? No. Only the finest serve. There we go, reckoning. I sense That's what I'm balance. talking about. For the honor of House Laurent. It would have better have you know like the brittle steel instead of the glory seeker. Reckoning. Hope it works. If we have a five power plus ally, kill all units of four or less power. The King Koo. Alright, so given those things, Barrier just pumps up this Caretaker to turn it into a 7-1. So now it doesn't die. And I can't really attack through it. Guess that's a thing too. All right, two five power creatures out here. But, you know, we just traded two for two. We still have a lot of cards. Victory requires a sharp blade. Feed Demacia. Line up. All right, Assessor Control in full effect. Another draw two. For glory, face me. Today we fight as one. Mm, a delicious challenge. <clears throat> nine one kill you know with three or less power. That's a little bit more than nine power. We can flash freeze it. We can frostbite it. So we're at ten total mana. 
So I could play a four drop and harsh winds. Really tempted to play the hearth card instead. What do you want? I'll just play the the four drop and have harsh winds available. Or you know, we can double up freeze strike. All right, just go with the strike. We can only bank three mana anyway. And we we'll have enough strikes in hand. Buggy. All right, there we go. This could be a good combo. Hopefully this works. I mean, I'm tapped out. They need, like, a pump spell that pumps this up plus four. Like, I don't know. They need something... Because this thing is, whenever you play this, or whenever it attacks, it gives all the allies barrier. So it give all of these barrier. Ugh. I had to bounce it. So that's, of course, something that I can't really have in play. No. There's my Darius. Hmm. This is going to be pretty difficult to kill that thing now because it's going to just have barrier. I'm in trouble. We're in trouble. I mean, I don't know. We could probably we can we can go wide. We we can be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Save my yeah, we'll be fine. We still got this. We fight for one frail yard. Sure, waste my time. Thirteen damage. I can probably just block here and save some of the damage. I 
and we're just going to go wide. We're just going to play another Awakener and then an Assessor and hopefully draw a whole bunch of cards. And just go wide with it. all these creatures being lethal with them at five. Life steal. Ugh. Oh, and fight. Well, we're back up to 20. Maybe we won't be fine. They won't have the barrier on my attack, though. Um... Oh, I, I'm one short of playing Reckoning also. I was going to play that, then play Reckoning. I guess I'm one short from playing Reckoning also. Can you stomach this? Lifesteal again? Come on. That was their draw step? That was just the best possible card to draw. It's like the only card that kept them alive. So Anivia works well because Anivia can block I still have the harsh winds, so we're good. Anivia can block the 9-9, that's what I was thinking. Uh but I'll just uh frostbite that and that. Because it doesn't matter that Anivia dies. Because Anivia comes. We just get Egg Nivia, and then Egg Nivia will be right back. Eternal Winter! Yeah, that is that is kind of the bad part that Agnivia goes back to being the three five, I guess. Wrapped in cold silence, master. And now we have lethal. <clears throat> they can still block with these things, but they'll die, and this is them going to negative seven. All right, four and four. Four and four. Back to 500. This deck's felt pretty strong. All four of our losses were to four 
you know, the top decks of the format that had, you know, good draws that, you know, like really strong, strong draws and, you know, had everything. But we've been like in, in all the games and I like our deck. Hecarim Noxus. Looking for Avalanche. Avalanche. Because I'm guessing this is an aggro deck. Surprised I don't have any other champions besides Hecarim. Like, maybe it's not. Okay, it probably is. Silly 5-4, it's too big. I could brittle steal it and say brittle steal it and save five life, but I'm gonna wait till after we get the awakener. Because I get Awakener, and then we can block, and then turn it into, you know, give it zero power, and just trade with it. Nothing can stop me. Or we'll do it with the 5-4. They're creatures at 5 power. They're ruining my whole Reckoning plan. They're ruining my plan. Victory. You better bleed. What's up? Right. Can't do it to the five four. If they just have creatures, like, I want them just to have creatures because we have the creatures to block and, you know, like, we, we can get into combat. It's it's the tricks. Stuff like Brothers Bond. This is what I don't want them to have. That kind of stuff. Because now I'm just, like, you know, basically dead. Formation. I guess I could have gone for lethal with Darius. That would not have been lethal. Spoiler alert. Can't stay alive. GG's. Those five fours were a good good counter to my deck. And then those double pump spells and Hecarim. Hecarim is just super, super strong. Good hand. By the the glory seekers, you know, I could have had two mana removal for the five fours. All right, last match, match number ten. Ash Katarina. Let's get back to 500.
victory requires a sharp blade. I need just a moment. I'll cut them apart. Face me. All right, we'll trade here. They they're built around frostbiting and everything, so like they're gonna use their five one with the frostbite, kill my stuff. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Remember why we Yeah, I could see I could see Hecarim getting some kind of nerf. I could see that happening. Maybe make just like one three two instead of two three twos. the finest serve. I don't know exactly what it will be, but I could definitely see it. There in the Doing something. Ooh, Babbling Bjerg. We could have Babbling Bjerg. That card's good. Ooh, yeah, probably. You're better right, Nanyo. Many tribes under one banner. Our strength is yours. Our banner will lead the way. This is our homeland. <clears throat> Don't know about this reckoning. For glory, you are mine. Avarosa, stand together. Defend the Empire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Steely Dan is just too good. Victory requires a sharp blade. Steely Dan's so good. Right, yeah, so Rasa says, so Rasa says play, and then you get the, you get the ability whenever you play Rasa. So you didn't play Rasa, so you don't get the, you don't get the trigger whenever it comes back. This hearth card says when I'm summoned. So some, you know, whenever you bring it back, you summon it again. So like that's the difference. It has to it has to be a summon trigger to get it back to to trigger it again with Chronicler of Ruin. Yeah, the comeback into play isn't you're not playing the card. I wish this reckoning killed stuff. I'm just really dead right now. Swiftly now. To victory. I'll cut them up. Face me. Our banner will lead the way. Oh wait, yeah, because I could. So if I would have brittle steeled the ash and then cast reckoning, we would have just killed these two things. Stand and defend. I would have killed my 1 1 and would have killed their Legion Drummer and Ash. Play fair. 
They have to have a Frostbite card in hand. It makes no sense to play Katarina unless they do have a Frostbite card, so they have to have one. Still force them to have it. Because the cat, you can't really play defense against Katarina. They'll never know what killed. No, just this one for tonight, Force of Will. I'll be ending the, the stream a little early. Sorry, I had a real busy, stressful day today, and so. I did, didn't want to just take the stream off, but I'm having a little bit of a shorter stream. Okay, so we ended up four and six. I think our deck is pretty close. We have some cool stuff going on inside. Like there are some, you know, cool cards, interactions, stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I don't love these Trifarians, like how they can't block. I could see even just playing something like Averrosen Sentry, even though, you know, like that's not a five power creature, but, you know, it blocks, draws cards. Maybe like that's where we're supposed to go in with like the two mana slot over either Glory Seeker or Trifarian. Maybe we play some sentries, just get some extra bodies out there that just, you know, do a little bit of trading, draw some cards. Maybe like, like, is that where we go instead of Glory Seeker or instead of Trifarian? Um, we did have like the one time the Trifarian was was amazing, like where we played at turn three and saved up the mana from turn two, and so that we had the turn four reckoning that wiped our opponent's board. Um, but for the most part, the the whole not being able to block, and I guess Glory Seeker is kind of like that too. But you just want to use Glory Seeker as a removal spell. Those frostbite mirrors, like where they just stick out there. I besides that, um, you know, Sentry is great. Ice Veil Art. Icefield Archer is just great. I could see just playing Icefield Archers instead of like so many like flash freezes. Again, Icefield Archer dies to Avalanche and dies to the other thing, um, the Reckoning. But it's just again, it's just these cards do a good job of slowing the opponents down. There's a reason why the Ezreal decks are playing, you know, Sentries and Icefield Archers. They slow the opponents down really well. Kind of the same thing with Marksman. And I feel like that's kind of what we need is we want things that slow the opponent down, but they can still attack um, against like control decks. You can still have them attack. Yeah, the babbling Bjerg is also interesting. Good, yeah, that's a good call there. Um, we do have good fours already, you know, Avalanche, Awakener, Assessor. Um, you know, it's kind of another, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like another Assessor, like a worse Assessor, but you know. Four mana, three three draw card. The Omen Hawks weren't the most impressive. I know Omen Hawk is like if you hit if you turn Assessor into five power, that's awesome. But maybe just rely on Hearth Guard to do that. The Omen Hawks just weren't trading with spells. This actually just was not a very good Omen Hawk deck. So maybe instead of like Omen Hawks, that's where you find it something else. You know, like maybe maybe you're playing Sentry instead of Hawk. I could see doing that. Yeah, you could replace Darius with Ash and then and then go back to all the flash free stuff. I I think Darius is is more I, I think I'd rather just stick with Darius. I don't know, Ash. 
I don't know. Um, I could see, I could see you doing that. I could see you doing that. Yeah, the Glory Seeker is good against elusives, definitely. That's what after we we lost that one. I think that's when I put in the Glory Seeker was after the elusive matchup. So th those are things to think about. I think Omen Hawk underperformed. Um, and then yeah, Glory Seeker Trifarian. You know, maybe maybe just move away from flash free stuff because they weren't spectacular. But but definitely good stuff here. Definitely good stuff here. Assessor was cool. It's a fun deck to play. You know, Avalanche is, is a good card in the metagame against a lot of people, and so is Reckoning. Uh, you know, Reckoning destroying all the Elnux is cool destroying hecarim and the and rekindler um was also cool it's like Reckon reckoning was pretty impressive uh, <clears throat> it was better than i thought it was gonna be all right but there we go so there's assessor control all right so those y'all watching on youtube um hit that like button over there i'd really appreciate it if you do that um you know, the more likes that helps helps share the video around. Um, and, you know, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know about like how I was just talking through the, the end of the, the uh, deck there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you thought of some of those cards. I was thinking of, I was talking about maybe taking out or putting in. Uh, if you like any of the, those ideas, leave a comment. Um, but that's it here for Assessor Control. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.